So what's good ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Shion T and I'm about to do a reaction to um at, at, Okay, um first of all let me thank everyone who has been with us from the beginning now we have over 1000 subscribers and um, as a result and uh, to appreciate everyone I will be dropping uh, a thank you track an appreciation track now don't expect anything on uh, LG or uh, Sakodi or MI level right I just I'm just trying to appreciate the guys so yeah so just tell me what you think about the song when I drop it anyway right now I want to do a reaction to uh, Nick Cannon's the invitation the invitation cancelled this is a start this track to Eminem now at first I wanted to do a reaction to Nick Cannon's this is to Eminem but then first one was work all right first one was work and the second one was even worse plus the whole thing would just look like I, I did not like the whole the whole um, issue so plus it's not in our own um how do i put this now it's not it's not in our own line of things right so um i did not feel the need to i did not feel the need to but i've been following it for a while and um both these tracks by any canon to eminem were not accepted right publicly in fact, Eminem hasn't responded yet. Nikano has taken L's on every side. Okay, so um, now I want to. Do, if you don't know what, if you don't know about the beef between Nikano and Eminem, started more than ten years ago with um, um when Eminem and Nikano's ex, who then she wasn't married to Nikano then, she, uh, Maria Carey, she allegedly Eminem no Eminem said. That um he and Mariah Carey had some a fling, no a fling that they had sex, right? Or that they were, that they were an item, but then Mariah Carey denied it, all right? So that pissed Eminem off, and Eminem went to the tirade, all right? So um, yeah, I think he released the track, and then Mariah Carey released um obsessed, a response to Eminem's um track. So Eminem released the uh, thing two other tracks, uh uh, the one which is my personal favorite, and then. Um, Bagpipes from Baghdad. It's been a while, right? So, um, I think Nick Cannon, who was Mar Mariah Carey's husband, also released a diss track to Eminem, but it was work. Nick, Can Nick Cannon is not a great rapper. He's better off as um, the the show host, right? That he is and wild and out. So, uh, and I personally think Mariah Carey's obsessed was even better than his own um, diss track. So, um, more than ten years, more than nine years after. Yet, um, Nick Cannon spoke about this issue again after he and Mariah Carey are not even together anymore. I think she even married a billionaire after him, right? So, um, he spoke about this issue in a um, I've forgotten whose uh, show it was, spoke about the issue. And in Fat Joe's song, um, Eminem Fat Joe released a song recently, right? Now the reason I haven't reacted to a lot of to most of this is because it's not on our lane. You know, we do more of African reactions. So we have a lot of things to, to react to. Sometimes the ones I want to react to that are not um African, I have to push them to the side. So um Eminem took shots at Nick Cannon because of what Nick Cannon said in the show in the uh, the show. So um Nick Cannon came out with um Should Knight and some of the other Should Knight is still in prison. I hope now I'm very very sure you know who I'm talking about. So let me just cut the whole long story straight. Uh the canons to these tracks we are work, alright? So I'm about to do a reaction to Nikanon's the invitation cancelled. He's he's cancelling the invitation that he sent to Eminem to come for to for while and out. Now understand that when it comes to rap skills, ability and these tracks, Nikano and Eminem are worlds apart. They are not even close. I feel like Reactors on YouTube have been almost overly critical of um Nikano's diss tracks, but at the same time, it's not like they were good either, right? It's not like they were good, and it's what you expect when somebody who is not on Eminem's level is trying to diss Eminem. Like nigga, you're going to lose in the first place. Why? Why bother? So let's just get right into it, guys. Let's get right into it. I hope the little intro I've done will help anyone who has not been able to follow um follow up, right? So. Let's get right into it. Damn, remember what Ice Cube said? Oh yeah, it ain't over, motherfucker. There's a line on there that, you know, was a little harsh. Here's what they harsh. think about you. Okay, 
So from the beginning now, we can tell what he's trying to do. First of all, he said, remember what Ice Cube said? And then he goes ahead to do, um, here's what they think about you. Here's what they think about you. Um, which is what Ice Cube did in Nova Slane when he was dissing um, uh, NWA, Easy E, M. Seren and the others. So, I don't know, is he thinking this uh, this track will be a Nova Slane? If it was coming from somebody else, I would agree, but not from Nick Cannon. All right, well, let's hear what Nick Cannon has to say. I don't think Nick Cannon has the skills all right, to try to pull an Ice Cube on Eminem. I don't think so. Here's what they think about it. You know, it was a little Here's what they think about it. Here's what they think about it. Here's what they think Okay, Nick Cannon, you freak out. I wish you luck with the fucking hole. That was Eminem's line from Bagpipes from Baghdad. Here's what they think about it. Here's what they think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my personal favorite in, in those, uh, in those that series of diss tracks. Um, the warning. Now, wow, Maria, I didn't expect you to go balls out. Be shut the fuck up before I put all the phone calls out. <laughs> you made to my house while you was wilding out on my dick. Now, let's go, let's go. Here's what they think about. Here's what they think about. Here's what they think about. Here's, think about. Here's, think about. Here's a little harsh. Here's what they think about. Yep. Here's what they think about. Look, I'm gonna sit and fight with you over some There's slut bitch girl. Here's what they think about. Here's a little Here's what they think about. How would you feel like in a sort of eight mile battle contest with Nick Cannon? Here's what they think about. Where you got to feel some swag pressure, right? So why is he showing us the gun? Why is he showing us? Okay, the male genitals. The male genitals. What? The gun. What? Why is he showing us this? Is he trying to shoot Eminem's balls or what? Right now, because it's on, baby. Is it on? I think it's gonna be on. I think. I think you and him will have to go. Here's what they bar think about. Bar. Okay, first of all, that is outrageous to think that Eminem and Nikano would go bar for bar. Nikano cannot go bar for bar with the rappers on his wild and out. Not to talk of Eminem. Like, how is Nick Cannon supposed to go bar for bar with Eminem? How? How? <laughs> Bruh. Think uh -oh. about you. How you feel about Here's that? what they think about I didn't about plan on taking it to that level, man. I didn't you want did, it to, you, you know what I mean? Like, like I didn't want it to get to that level. You might be on the losing team. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't. But Here's what they think about you. Here's what they think about you. Bruh, I said, see, I, this the one in was my favorite. I felt like it was the harshest, like was the hardest to my carry. And this the one that... Um, the canon keeps playing over and over and over again on this track. So it seems to me like this is the one that hurts him the most, that wound him the most. Uh, if you've not listened to the warning, go listen to the warning. And let me know if you want me to react to the warning after this um, reaction anyway. Let me know if you want me to react to the warning. It was a dope ass this track, one of the best in this in the past 10, 20 years, if you ask me. Here's what they think about. I saying this shit again, ho. You know what it is. Here's what they think about. That pussy got him nuded. Trying to tell him this shit. Alright, now this was the line from yeah, Lord Above, Fat Joseph. The pussy Mariah got him nuded. Try to call, try to tell him this chick's a nut job before he's got his jaw was clipped. At last the line to uh, the cannon. It's a nut job for got his jaw clipped. Here's what they think about you. Chicks a nut job. Here's what they think about you. You're not gonna do shit. Here's what they think about you. You're not gonna do shit. You're not gonna do shit. Here's what they think about you. You know, man, it's it's like I okay. The line um Nick Cannon is trying to play like um, I'm just trying to um fight for my family. But bro, it's been more than nine years. You did not do anything or in all that space, right? And then you're trying to invite him to wild and out, right? And then when you want to um, Okay, first of all, let me say one positive thing about this this track so far is that it's only Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon is coming for Eminem on his own. In the previous two, he 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 had a lot of help. He needed help. Get picked some battle rappers, right, to join him to diss Eminem because he cannot diss Eminem on his own. Now, even with those guys, he's still gonna lose anyway. But yeah, so at least he's doing this on his own this time. Still, I feel like this is long. This. This 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 beef was long over. I don't know why he brought it up again. Like this, like the way I look at it, I said it. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't like I had no idea that he was gonna take it like he took it. He took it. I had no idea that Nick Cannon was gonna start wilding out on me. Wilding out on me. Wilding out on me. Think about it, punk motherfucker. He been disrespecting our queens for years. Matter of fact, won't you tell him how you really feel, Marshall? Black girls are bitches. Black girls are dumb. What? Black 
girls are bitches. Black girls are dumb. Black girls are bitches. Black girls are dumb. You might wear some. Okay. Black girls are bitches. Black girls are dumb. So he's playing it, um, uh, a line from one of Eminem's old songs where. Now Eminem released, received a lot of um, criticism for this. A lot of backlash. Let me put it that way. Let me just say criticism for that for those two lines right black girls are bitches black girls are dumb all right he received a lot of backlash for it then and then he apologized on another diss track not in your um, typical apology way but he was saying it's not just about black girls all right so he so it wasn't the racist state it wasn't it didn't mean it in a racist way and he was like man it's all women generally right so uh saying and then in the canon's point that eminem has been disrespecting our queens for years i don't understand hasn't that been one of the major criticisms of gangster of gangster rap since the 80s like that's one of the think of gang, gangster rap music generally one of the big one of the biggest criticism is that it is disrespectful to women especially black women as a matter of fact even black women in rap disrespect black women or not just black women but disrespect women generally right we was like bitch and i i don't want to sound like i'm going on uh, off on the history but in rap, usually, usually, generally, there's disrespect, right? There's disrespect, huge disrespect, both to men and to women. Again, but of course, the, the uh, focus seems to be more on the disrespect towards women, right? And um, uh, yeah, if you are going to do that, I don't think you should be talking to Eminem alone. Talk about almost everybody, right? From uh, Tupac to Biggie, right? And to, to all of that. But if you are picking only those lines, then you should know that Eminem already resolve that issue the canon is just trying to bring up issues um trying to stay uh, the honestness right try to um get uh support from black women that's what he's trying to do here all right like this is like a black male trying to get eminem to respond based on that what you just lost one black girls are bitches black girls are dumb what black girls are bitches black girls are dumb. what black girls are bitches black girls are dumb. we let you be a guest like this is ridiculous. You are supposed to be fighting your own battle with Eminem. Now you um say you are fighting for black women. Is that is that what this is about now? I thought you were supposed to be fighting your own battle, not fighting for the black women. Cause last time I checked, Eminem was cool with Remy Ma and uh some other black black musicians, right? Like uh, I mean, let's go on. He's cool with Nicki Minaj. Right? He's cool with Remy Ma. We've not heard anybody attack him for being racist or anything or being uh, disrespectful to black women. Except Nick Cannon. In his house, but now you can't see. Had to put my motherfucking turban on. Yeah. He let you be a guest in his house, but now you can't see. Who's counseling who? Is Nick Cannon the person now counseling rappers? Counseling. <sighs> Bro, I mean, I'm sorry, my eye looks uh, fucked up. I have a bag under my eye. Alright, now, Nick Cannon is saying Eminem is counseled. Uh, how? How? Who is counseling who? Is Nick Cannon the one counseling rappers now? Like. Nick Cannon is not anybody's top 20, alright, he has released two diss tracks before this, Eminem hasn't responded, and he has already received massive L's, so how is he cancelling Eminem, I didn't get it. Had to put my motherfucking turban on, y'all side your motherfucking turban on, protesting with AKs and guns, our queens don't need your racist song, you the KKK of this generation, okay. our queens don't need your racist songs. Yeah. See, Nick Cannon knows he's lost. He doesn't have anything to say. So he's just trying to... Even in the last two diss tracks, he was trying to focus on the race issue. I mean, you, how do you get called Eminem racist when you've been calling him... Uh, when you've been trying to play the race card in your last two diss tracks? How do you now get off calling him racist? I don't understand. Well, I mean, the same person who... Eminem, Eminem who uh, has been attacked for... Um, we've, we've had some white people blasting him, Eminem for being um, uh, pro-black and... Uh, not as pro white as he should be. Okay, 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 did I take it too far? He's a rap star. Run, nigga, run. Stand on my ground. Fruit of his lawn. I don't give a fuck if his ass was young. Can't let him take it too far. He's a rap star. Our queens don't need your racism. Huh? You the KKK of okay, this generation. Okay, 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 did I take it too far? He's a rap star. Run, nigga, run. Stand on my ground. Fruit of his lawn. I don't give a fuck if his ass was young. Can't let that slide. That's on my son. Goddamn right, yeah. Right. Saying, okay, he's a rap star. The people are saying, oh, he's a rap star, but I'm standing my ground. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, shit, bruh. 
Stand on my ground. Fruit of his lawn. I don't give a fuck if his ass was young. Can't let that slide, that's on my sons. I damn right, yeah, I'm on one. Cause can't let this slide, that's on my sons. Can't let what slide. Nigga, it's been more than nine years. We didn't say anything. Right? All of a sudden now you want him to come to wild and that and you're putting it on your sons. I think that's disrespectful to your sons in the first place. Ain't no age for white rage. Specifically in your DNA. I seen you at the VMA. Niggas that was of his lung. I don't give a fuck if his ass was young. Can't let that slide, that's on my sons. God damn right, yeah, I'm on one. Cause ain't no age for white rage. Specifically in your DNA. I seen you at the VMA. Niggas that was with you, you treated them like indentured slaves. Read the ISIS paper, you. All them niggas that was with you, you treated them like, in, like some dingy, dingy slaves. Okay. I think the most, uh, uh, Lord, Nikano is just doing the most right now. Like he's doing, doing. It doesn't even count, right? He's trying to play Lord Jamal's line, talking about. But okay, let's go on. Yeah, Eminem responded to Lord Jamal when Lord Jamal was uh, blast was talking about Eminem's a guest in hip hop. Eminem is not all that, and Eminem said uh, in his album Kamikaze, he said, um, uh, "I brought the world fifty cents, right?" And then you all you do is uh, peace and mourn, right? So we, there are a lot of people, a lot of uh, uh, rappers uh, of different races, right? That um, uh, that have allegiances to Eminem. The whole Eminem has impacted in one way or the other. Very good examples: Fifty Cent, as big as Fifty Cent is, yes, Fifty Cent, right? Then you have Rosa Five Nine. You have people like Jonah Lucas. You have people like Hobson. You have people like Dax, who's, who's in, who look up to Eminem. So why when you get up talking about Eminem is racist? I don't understand. Racist, I see why you hate us, pretend you love us, but you really jealous. Wanna be brothers and Christopher Columbus. Hip hop wish you discovered. Now I'ma slay you for my s Oh, talking about Eminem is a racist, is a hypocrite, is pretending to be a brother, is jealous, just wants to be, just wants to be loved, blah blah blah. Wants to be a brother and um uh Called him Christopher Columbus, uh, talking about the reference to him discovering, he um, acting like he discovered hip hop, blah blah blah, all of that. Oh, man, I would ask Nick Cannon to name one better lyricist in this generation than name than name him. I would ask him. There is no greater lyricist alive right now than name him. So, bro, let him enjoy his title. You, if you have a beef, address it. Stop talking about you are defending black women. You were not dead all these years. You didn't do anything about it. Sister's cousin's daughter's mother. Black girls are bitches. Black girls are dumb. 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 The hypocrisy. This song did not just drop. This song did not just drop. This song is how old? I don't even know. Like it's been long. So. <laughs> and he's like this. Ain't. What you say? Like he just heard about the song today. Like he just heard that line today. Bruh. You might win some, but you just lost one. Black girls are bitches. Black girls are dumb. What? Black girls are bitches. Black girls are dumb. What? Black girls are bitches. Black girls are dumb. We let you be a guest in this house, but now okay. See what I'm saying? This nigga doesn't even have his own lines. He's just repeating what Lord Jamal said about Eminem being a guest in hip hop, and Eminem refuted and blasted Lord Jamal. Eminem has had more of a print on hip hop rap than Lord Jamal has had than Nick Cannon will ever have. So how can you call him a guest? Because most of the top rappers you have today, most of the top rappers you have today in hip hop, in one way or the other, have allegiances to Eminem. But right? you've got 50 Cent, you've got Jonah Lucas, you've got Hobson, you've got Dax, you've got NF, you've got Logic. What? Who? Who? You're talking about lyrical rappers, not mumbo rappers, lyrical rappers, right? You are going to have a long list of names. That would, I mean, this guy dropped his first diss track, I mean, second diss track, and Jonah Lucas already, <laughs> already confronted him on on Twitter, right? And um, soon we fifty cent. Now let's see who comes out for the canon, besides the people he pays on his cast and wild and wild and out. So who's a guest in hip hop, Nick Cannon or Eminem? Just trying to play the risk card. You can't just for Rosa and Coretta, Asada and Loretta. Betty, Rosetta, Angela, Mahalia, Dr. Bethune, Sajona, she the truth. I do it for the coach, a new Oprah in the booth. Ah! Mm. <laughs> ah! God! <laughs> oh, 
like this is pure desperation this is pure desperation for god's sake now switching from um, i'm fighting for my family uh responding to your this to your this is against my against my ex-wife now he has gone to i'm defending black women i'm fighting for black women this is for um black women who have who are gone black heroines and then he's talking about uh uh this is a new opera in the booth like what what they cannot talk this is why i did not react to the first and the second one anyway yeah this guy is just trash i told your ass you was a guest in our house i'm trying to find out who the fuck let this pest in our house close the door apology tours for sure they gonna say i'm race baiting but i had to lure them with the hate just to read the ice paper you racist i see why you race baiting but this pest in our house close the door apology tours for sure they gonna say i'm race baiting but i had to okay so he's saying for sure they're going to say i'm race baiting bro it's not a matter of for sure they're going to say you that's what you're doing that's all that's that's, it. that's all you have to play what does he have to say about eminem nothing so all he has to do is play the race card that is all that's all he has ever done that's what we did in the first district that's what we did in the second district that's what we're doing in the third one nothing else just the white boy jokes which eminem has been used to since when he was coming up as b rabbit just to read the ice paper you racist i see why you hate us pretend you love us but you really jealous wanna be brothers christopher columbus hip-hop wish you discovered no i'm gonna slay you for my sister's cousin black girls are bitches black girls are dumb black girls are bitches black girls are dumb black girls are bitches black girls are dumb you might win some but you just lost one black girls are bitches black girls are dumb feel about us we just gonna keep letting that ride oh yeah the hopping bob and all the mother house negroes that keep defending this motherfucker holla at me i got some books you should read oh and marshall i tried to give you an invitation the invitation's canceled i'm getting straight to the point black girls are bitches that's why i'm gonna tell you you better pull up your bridges black girls and white girls just don't mix because black girls are dumb and white girls are good shit Ugh. Okay, so here it is. You lose your own diss track without getting a response already you've lost. So what do you do? You make it seem like you're fighting for somebody else. Like, nigga, what are you fighting for? Nah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm not fighting for myself. I'm fighting for her. Bro, that's ridiculous, right? If you want to attack Eminem based on that, start attacking Tupac, start attacking Biggie, start attacking 50 Cent, start attacking almost every black rapper you know. Alright? Mostly in the 90s. So what's... what's I, I, I don't get what... And then he's talking about... Um, uh, what, what, what was he talking about again? Um, Eminem... Uh, talking about... Uh, uh, he's doing this for uh, the black women. He's the new Oprah. I don't know what to say. Like, I am tired. The aim of this song to me is defeated, all right? He's defeated because he's trying to rile people up against Eminem using a uh, sensitive issue like um, racism, all right? Like racism and um, uh, abuse to women, you get? So that's what he's trying to use. Now, anybody who knows rap, all right, who's into hip hop knows that Eminem already apologized for this years ago. And that person also knows what's up between Eminem and the canon. So, the person, so such a person is not going to be bothered by this. Anybody, anybody can see through this. However, if he's trying to appeal to people who have not been involved in rap before, I don't think Nick Cannon is the kind of person to give somebody who is not a rap fan the buzz to listen to a rap song. So if you ask me, he's filled anyway. So uh, this one is on that trash. This is on that trash. On that trash. All right. So um, thanks everyone for viewing. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Thank you. Pizzo on the track, I'm the one that make him run I'm the one that drop it hot, fuck with me and you get shot They can get me if they plug, I'm the baddest of the lot I'm the baddest of the lot